Hello friends, welcome to She Wolf Mom. I'm Erica. Today I'm going to be getting back into the swing of things after my family was sick for about two weeks. I figured starting with some small decluttering and organization projects would be best. I'm going to be cleaning underneath my sink. There is only one cabinet door to get underneath my sink and luckily um, the space underneath is pretty spacious but getting in there was a little hard just with one small tiny door. I did my best um, but I do miss having a normal uh, sink with two doors. I'm not going to be using any special type of organization products. The only thing that I'll be sharing with you is a moisture absorber to kind of help keep underneath the sink moisture free, not smelling musty. Um, so I'll share that with you in just a little bit. You might notice there is a machine underneath my sink and this machine is actually my water purification system. In my prior house in Arizona, I used to have it up on top of the sink but my husband has modified it so that we can put it under the sink it's not enough space on the counter as it is I struggle with my dishes <laughs> so um, hopefully when we do some renovations I can add a little more counter space and um, the renovations should be starting sometime next year I'm not sure how soon in the year they will start but um, I'll talk to you a little bit more about some of the things that have happened in the last couple of weeks to kind of prepare us um, to move forward with getting things switched around in this house say you love me say you don't just give me something In the future, I would like to refinish the wood inside of my cabinets, but for now, I'm just going to put a liner in them. I feel like this will help make it look a lot better um, because it does look a little old and dingy. This house was built in 1995 and these are the original cabinets. I did paint them last summer because I thought that we were going to rent our house out again and it would look a little neater and more updated for the renters. Little did I know that this would be my kitchen again. <laughs> so um, I'm glad that I painted it because it looks so much better than it did before. And I'll try and insert a picture so that you can see what it looked like. I'm going to try my best to just keep the products that I truly use under here. I really don't buy a lot of cleaning products anymore. I'm very minimal because I've zoned in and I know what it is I like to clean with. I'm trying not to use baskets just because baskets for me, they are a dumping ground. <laughs> Um, as long as I can fit something in a basket and it looks neat on the outside, I'm usually okay with it. And just lately, I just, I don't feel okay with that and having just a bunch of stuff thrown in a basket. So you will notice that I don't use any baskets. I am going to be putting the few dishwasher pods I have into a mason jar um, until I get something that's a little more appropriate. But I do like to use containers that are clear or acrylic just because I can see inside of them and um, it allows me just to keep it a lot neater and not stuff things inside. 
the last thing that I'm going to do under my sink is add in my moisture absorber and this is a moisture absorber made by a company called Pure Egg and this is available on Amazon. This is a large capacity bag. It can last 30 days and there are 10 packs in this box so this will last you up to 300 days. This particular design is equipped with a convenient hanging hook which is safe to use everywhere. Uh, closets, storerooms, basements, bathrooms, cabins, garages, any place that is enclosed and has excess moisture or a stagnant air problem. My husband uh, mentioned to me that he likes to use moisture absorbers in his gun case, so this is gonna be perfect for him as well. I'm going to use it under my sink because this definitely is an area that can get a little musty, and I'm just gonna use a command hook to hang it since it does have a hanging hook and it worked out perfectly. I really liked this design because it's multifunctional. I can use it in different places places and I'm going to put them in my closets under the sinks in my bathroom and I also plan to put it under the sink in my rental home. I will go ahead and link this down below in my description box if I have a discount code available that'll be there as well. Thank you Pureg for gifting this to me and allowing me to share it with my viewers. I'm going to move on to my fridge. It is a disaster. <laughs> um, and it's been a disaster for a few weeks. Um, as soon as we got in from our trip in November that's when COVID and flu hit our home and I just kind of stuffed everything in the fridge and I have not looked back. Um, I do try to keep my fridge organized, but it's an area of constant use and I'm not the only one using it. So things do get out of order pretty quickly, but I'm going to go ahead and get that all fixed today and organized. This also allows me to see what foods I need to purchase because we definitely were running low on food once this was all said and done. Some of you might be wondering, did she get sick or did she not get sick? <laughs> um, I did. I ended up getting sick uh, a couple of days after I recorded and filmed my last video. And I think I was coming down with flu-like symptoms, but I never actually caught the flu. My body was able to just kind of get rid of it with a little bit of rest. Once my husband was feeling better and able to come out of the room, he kind of took over my responsibilities. And um, that's when Mikey caught COVID. It was the craziest thing because he was staying in his room away from everyone else and he still caught it. And that was a moment where I just felt just upset with myself because I felt like I'm the one that took it to him somehow with something that I fed him or touched or gave him. So I don't know. It was just one of those moments where I was completely just disappointed with myself as a mother. Luckily, um, his COVID symptoms were not bad at all. The flu was a lot worse for him. And so he kind of coasted through, stayed in his room. And finally, after about two weeks of being in his room, he was over it and he was ready to come out and join the family again. So it was really, really a hard time, but um, everyone is much better now. I stayed COVID free and flu free, so that's good but it's just been really hard to get back into the swing of things and start um, working on the house again and getting everything clean and organized. And there's just been so many other things going on behind the scenes. We just ordered a new washer and dryer for this house and we also ordered a new stove. So those should be coming in shortly. The washer and dryer that are in this house right now will be going to our rental home as well as the stove. So those are a few updates to what is going on on right now. The fridge is nice and clean and um, I can move on to the pantry. So in the next video I'm going to be cleaning out the laundry room. Um, I'll give you a little sneak peek here. Uh, it really really needed some organization and I'll talk to you a little more about the plans with the rental home and the appliances. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I really do appreciate all the love and well wishes that you gave my family and I in my last video it means the world to me and for those of you who were battling illness yourself i hope that you're better now and if you're somebody who is battling something right now i know that the entire world is going through this um, I hope that you get well soon and are able to enjoy the holidays with your family. I do plan on putting out a few more videos before Christmas, so I definitely will be touching base with you again this week. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.